Hi everyone, Nalza here, and we're back with Cook, Serve, Delicious. Today is the day we're gonna hit four stars. Oh yeah, I can feel it. Can you feel it? I can feel it. It feels good. It feels pretty good to know that today we're gonna hit four stars. Lobsterinos are no longer a daily special. Today's daily special is gonna be... Not burgers. Um, what's it gonna be? Salads. Yeah, why not salads? Let's get uh, poisson on the menu, as they say in France. Um, bonjour, um, tout le monde. Je m'appelle Nazie. J'habite à Scoffer, au bord de la mer, et in the Bourgo. Um, C'est bon. Uh, merci. Um, Coco vin. Uh, anyway, let's um, let's also do what else? <laughs> Besides that. Truly splendid French. Um, anyone out there speak French? Uh, any fr Do I have any people who are French watching this video? Because I actually had an idea for a video, but I need someone who speaks fluent, perfect French to do it. Um, but it's very tricky to get someone who, who actually knows that, because I don't think I have many French viewers. It'd be cool if they did, though. Um, work liquor, morning aroma, bad odds. We've talked about American viewers, we've talked about Australia viewers. Australians get shout out all the time. So if you're French, today is your day. Uh, let's start a new day. Um, today, we have got one safety inspection to pass. And then when we do... It's time for the fourth star. Ranch cheese and everything on it. You got it. Today is going to be a perfect day. Speaking of perfect days, today has really been a perfect day for me in real life today because I slept pretty late. Oh, I'm not going to tell you the time. I'm not going to tell you the time. Honestly, you don't want to know. You really don't. It was really late. And the thing was, I was having this crazy dream. Really wild dream. Where, like, I was in... Um some house and there was some mystery going on and you know I had to like solve the mystery and like somehow someone had thrown glass through a wall but it was like at a weird angle but there was no other way to get that angle and it was really strange uh, I think it was because I was playing like a lot of divinity last night um because I finished divinity I have finished divinity now it was wonderful uh check it both times billion cubes on the celery one two three done I had to the bathroom because the toilet's there because the um edification person's there uh so yeah I was playing a lot of um oh separate beers a lot of divinity last night my total play time for that game now I'm going to go back tonight actually and get some of the achievements that I missed just a couple of them though because there's obviously a lot that I can't get without doing different options but I'm going to get uh, a couple of the achievements my total play time 90 hours Right? So if you're thinking, you know, is Divinity going to have a lot of playtime? Yes, it has a lot of playtime. 90 hours? I haven't spent 90 hours in a game for a long time. Like, a long time. So I was kind of impressed by how well the game kept my attention, and it really did. So, good on it. Chicken, meats, rice. Ah, uh, sugar! I put potatoes in. Oh wait, no, I put you in. I put bullion cubes in. Ah, uh, screw it. Here, have your crappy soup. Seven up throw up throw side thighs. Uh, chicken, meats, rice, and uh, potatoes. That's a new dish that I'm serving at my restaurant. Uh, it's delicious. There's on cheese, bacons. We're gonna have an unperfect order. Yeah, get out of here. Uh, there's on cheese and everything on it. You got it. Six. Finner get mushrooms and greens. Fine. Two. Uh, just greens and carrots. Fine. Five. Want some bottle of elk. There we go. So yeah, Divinity, highly recommended. Loved it to bits. Happy that it's over because it was uh, just wonderful. The story was great. Loved every minute of it. Uh, the dream was... Yeah, sorry. I'm getting uh, kind of a bit confused there because of the rush hour. The dream, yeah, kept me sleeping for too long. Uh, that's what happens when I have really interesting dreams. I just don't want to wake up. Like, I don't want to get up and stop the dream because it's a really cool dream, you know? Um, Serpent's beer. There you go. Serve one. Uh, I don't know, does anyone ever have that, you know, where you're just having this best dream ever and you don't want to get out of bed, so you just stay in bed for too long? Yeah? Well, me too. Uh, chicken, both on seasoning potatoes, want some carrots, one, two, three, cabbage, one, two, three, five. Oh, if I had missed that chore, I might not have gotten my last star. PSCR, PSCR, PSCR. Two, mushrooms and greens and carrots. You got it. Three, down flush. I've also been thinking that, um, by the way, a lot of people have asked me, like, when I'm doing Cook, Serve, Delicious, when will Cook, Serve, Delicious end? You know, because it's been going on for a long time. A lot of people, you know, didn't expect me to take this series this long. And I'm definitely going to stop when it hits five stars. I know that there's more after that, like there's a platinum star or something. Uh, I, you know, I'm going to have to move on. 
five star, five star restaurant, Chef Nalzi, five star cook, I'm happy with that. You know, I think there has to be a point where you draw the line. And I think uh, Cook Served Delicious, a wonderful game at five stars. We will bid it farewell and move on to another. Uh, because I feel that uh, my channel needs a couple more new games. So if you've got any suggestions for games, by the way, because I am very interested in, you know, starting a new series. I've got a couple of holes in my channel that need filled, you know, because my watchdogs, I did a couple of watchdogs videos and those kind of fitted a slot where I had some extra free time. Um, the last stat, the last one, well, the last door as well. I'm not doing that anymore uh, because people just weren't really interested in it. Uh, so I'm looking for a couple of new games, actually. I'm going to start FTL again, hopefully this week. So that's going to be back. Uh, that, that, that. I want some Sarah. One, two, three. So leave your thoughts. Games, now, you have to be careful. I need games that I haven't played yet. So games that I haven't played or games that are very good that I haven't played. Now, a good way of knowing if I've played it is check my Steam profile. That, that's easy. Uh, Tomatoes123, A123, Y123, uh, 123. Now, uh, my Steam profile, everyone can find it. It's about, you know, it's around and about. And as well as that, I also have done reviews on games. So, like, if I've done a review on a game, I've completed it. Uh, whenever I finish a game, I generally do a review on Steam. Up, throw, up, throw, sanitize. Seven, cut, season, cook. Five, two, one, cut, season, cook. Uh, so that's how you know. So leave your thoughts because I, honestly, I've completed a lot of games. I've done a lot of games. You know, most of the games that you might be thinking about suggestion are, are possibly games I've already done. Uh, that, that, that season, tomatoes, one, two, three, A, one, two, three, Y, one, two, three. Damn, I picked up the wrong order. I hit the wrong button. Whoops, the daisies. Damn it. Oh, I can't give them this. God damn wine! Oh, I'm full of mistakes today. God, I don't deserve four stars, but I'm going to get them anyway. <laughs> right, that that seasoning. Oh, maybe I should take the soup off the menu for a few days. Genuinely, like, how long has soup been a staple on this menu? I think it's high time soup, you know, goes away for a bit because I have had nothing but soups forever. Uh, Decad vineyards, you got it. There we go. One, two. So yes, give me your thoughts on it. You can tweet me, of course, as well, with any information. ISP on Y, one, two, three, and beans. You got it. Two, up, throw, up, throw, sanitize. I hope that the uh, air certification person there, not the, the safety inspector, uh, was okay with the fact that I didn't do the trash there before they left. That would be a shame if they saw that as a failure. But I did do it in time. Uh, cheese, bacon, croutons. Right, here we go. This could be it. Wow, we're about to hit $10,000 as well. Probably not with this dish though, sadly. Oh, nearly, nearly. Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh. Way! Way! Wow, fantastic work. We have remodeled your restaurant to a higher caliber and some mysterious fellows have appeared asking for you by name. They claim to be a part of the Temple of Delicious and ask that you fly to their secret location immediately to prove your worth or something. Huh. Anyways, good luck. The Temple of Delicious? What? Look at our new restaurant. Oh my goodness, it is lovely. This is a proper restaurant here. Look, we've got garlic bread or some sort of like dry bread which is by the way that's going to be on your bill uh, if you use that we've got fancy napkins we've got salt and pepper shakers also uh, seasoning uh, is going to be on your bill and we've got a wonderful view new kind of candelabras what a beautiful restaurant the hut the hungry festivities what what is this the hungry festivities prepare for your greatest cooking challenge yet you will not survive click unlock event to get started okay Select the challenge. Oh, so that cost a mysterious ticket. Select the challenge to unlock it for eight tickets. Okay. So we've unlocked Pasta of Chaos for eight tickets. Uh, okay. What? What on earth? Extra events. The Hungry Festivities. Can I? Can I just do it? I'm doing it. Oh God. Pasta, when done correctly, should be a feast for all who dine upon it, no matter what their status class might be. I know you can make a delicious pasta, but I want to see all the recipes you know, and I want them all done perfectly. What? Oh my god, it's not- it's going to tell me what to put in. Boil raw pasta. Alright, I was just thinking, what if it doesn't tell me, like, what they want, it just tells me the name of the meal. Wow, that would be really tough. 
Right, boil raw pasta. So this just looks like it's another, um, you know, cooking show. Red sauce and meatballs, you got it. And uh, meatballs, right. This is going to be tricky, actually, because I'm not used to doing pasta. So this is going to be very tough. So I need to serve a certain amount of orders. Red peppers, red peppers, pea and mushrooms. is you, uh, you, spinach and onions. Done. One. Red sauce. Want some uh, meatballs. Want some chicken. I want some bacon. Okay. Three. But I'll, I'll get I'll get faster as it goes. You know, as I'm learning the uh, the shortcuts. Again, I don't really know. Oh God, I've hit my glasses. Oh no, there's a smear on my glasses. I touched my glasses. No, no, I can't see. Red sauce, bacon, red peppers, uh, pea. There you go. Two. Cheesy sauce. Okay. And onions. There you go. No, that sounds gross. Cheesy sauce and onions. Cheesy sauce, meatballs, chicken, and bacon. That also sounds gross. Honestly, any pasta with white sauce or bechamel sauce. Is it bechamel sauce, the white sauce? The, the one that's called cheesy sauce. I need to wipe this streak off my glasses. I'm sorry, folks. I honestly can't see. Right, okay, my glasses are back on. Right, one, raw pasta. Two, oh no. Uh, red sauce, meatballs, chicken, bacon, peppers, mushroom, spinach, onions, done. Four, cheese sauce, meatball, chicken, bacon, red peppers, um, mushroom, spinach, onions, done. Two, raw pasta. Three, raw pasta. See, I'm learning. I'm learning the things. Uh, cheese sauce, chicken and bacon. Done. Four, raw pasta. I like how it gives you the smiley face when you're done. And it's kind of like, oh, it's a smiley ninja. It's a very happy ninja. Two, cheese sauce. All right, cheese sauce. Red peppers, mushrooms, spinach and onions. Done. Three, red sauce, meatballs, bacon, mushrooms and spinach. Done. Four, white sauce. Okay, and chicken and spinach. And we want one, a white sauce, chicken, bacon, peppers, mushrooms, and spices. What's that? I, okay. Two raw pasta, three raw pasta, five raw pasta. I love this music, it's so dramatic. I'm letting you listen to it, so I can stop talking for a second. Lovely. Four raw pasta, okay, we're gonna have a lot of dishes now. White sauce, peppers, mushrooms, spinach, and onions, done. Three, red sauce, bacon, and spices, done. One, red sauce, meatballs, and spices, done. Five, white sauce, meatballs, chicken, bacon, and mushrooms, done. Four, uh, just the meatballs and tomatoes. What's tomatoes? Uh, meatballs and tomatoes, okay, there you go. Dry pasta, is that a joke? Do people actually eat that? That sounds weird. Three, and yep, there we go. So this is our last four orders. Um, I guess I'll put the pasta on for this last one. I don't understand what I'm doing here. Right, uh, cheese sauce, spices and tomatoes, done. Two, red peppers, spinach, spices, tomatoes, done. Three, green sauce and meatballs, done. Four, green sauce with all toppings and spices, M-K-B-P-U-S-O-I-T. Six, red sauce, peppers, uh, spices and tomatoes, done. Five, five, boil raw pasta, Seven, a boil raw pasta. So I need to do these last two, even though it says zero to go on the top right there. Okay. I, I need to do the extra event for the Iron Cook Studio as well, actually. Right, five. Green sauce. You got it. Chicken and mushrooms is you and spices is I. Seven is green sauce, spinach and spices. Done. Right? Challenge successful. You're truly a force to contend with, but I want to see more of your cooking skills. Okay, well there's only one there right now, so I have to come back at another time. Let's do the last Iron Cook Studio event as well, because we didn't do that. The Carnival Challenge, no clowns here. Sometimes the simplest of foods can provide the greatest of challenges. Okay, well, it's not going to be a challenge for me. I'm too good. In this Iron Cook Studio, you must survive five waves of famous carnival foods. Don't let the easy difficulty of these foods fool you. Get all orders done perfectly with no more than two average or bad to win this challenge. Okay. Now, the reason I want to do this is there's probably an achievement to do it. Ah, hot dogs. Yum. Well, not hot dogs. It's uh, corn dogs. Ketchup mustard, four. Just ketchup, fine, five. Just ketchup, fine, six. Uh, just ketchup, fine, five. Just mustard, fine, eight. And just ketchup, fine. Go. Too easy. Too easy. Right, okay, what we got? Just a butter, you got it. Fine. Two, just a butter, fine, you got it. Three, just a butter, fine, you got it. Four, just a cinnamon, fine, you got it. Five, just a cinnamon, five, you got it. Six, just a butter, fine, you got it. Seven, and then just a salt and butter, you got it. And eight, and then we got the nothing. Go. Bang! Second wave done. Too easy. More corn dogs. Ketchup, fine. Two, mustard, fine. Three, mustard, fine. Four, ketchup, mustard, fine. Five, salt and butter, fine. Six, want some butter, fine. Seven, want some butter, fine. Eight, want some salt and butter, fine. Next. Hooray! Just catch your fine two, just a salt and butter fine three, just to catch your mustard fine four, just a cinnamon fine six, five, just to catch your fine six, just a cinnamon please fine seven, just a mustard please fine eight, just a salt and butter fine next. Wave five, let's go. 
All right, one, nothing on it, fine. Two, just a butter, fine. Uh, three, just button cinnamon, fine. Four, just a salt, fine. Five, just nothing on it, fine. Six, just a butter, fine. Seven, just a salt, fine. Eight, just a butter cinnamon, fine. Next. We done? Oh, amazing work. <laughs> you passed this challenge and earned $1,200 as well as two mysterious golden tickets. Well, of course we did. We're too good. Well, that's uh, wonderful. I think we're done. I think we're done with the Iron Cook Studio. And uh, we've done all the catering events. I just want to make sure, yes, I think we did do all the... There may actually be another Iron Cook Studio because the um, catering went down to the end. So maybe there's going to be a couple more in there to do. And we didn't get an achievement. I would have figured there would be an achievement for that. Anyway, welcome to your new restaurant. We've totally overhauled the restaurant for a new look and feel. Now that you're a certified four-star restaurant, as a result of the new atmosphere, customers will be more patient, waiting for their order. Watch out for new opportunities, open up in the future. Keep up the good work, and here's to adding another star soon. Wonderful. Uh, new prep station. That's going to be awesome. Welcome to the Hungry Festivities. We are a secret clan in a mysterious area of the Forbidden Jungle who have built the Temple of Delicious, a place for all aspiring world-class cooks to prove their worth or be destroyed. Well, we actually don't destroy people anymore. There is this great, great shame in losing. Great shame. Only the absolute best cooks will be able to compete. And even then, only if I was you have blessed with mysterious tickets. We shall see what you can do, starting with the first challenge available now. So lucky I got all those tickets, huh? Uh, menu rot, yeah, yeah. Inspection passed, yeah, yeah. Specialty food upgrades are available. Okay, new specialty upgrades. What available upgrades are there for specialty foods? Uh, lobsters, yes. We'll get the lobster, absolutely. And that is now a four-star lobster, I think. I have eaten delicious. Sorry for saying this already, but man, is the food great here. I hope you guys stick around forever. Thank you. Let's upgrade some more food. So let's upgrade the ice cream. I like the ice cream. I like what it's trying to do. Uh, we've got all the upgrades for the ice cream now, have we? Okay, let's get the steak upgrade as well. Because that'll give us achievement, right? Where's my achievement? That's a five-star steak. Come on! That's a five-star steak, man! Speciality foods. So we got some nice upgrades here. Um, I'm quite happy with everything here, actually. What's that food there? What's that food that we don't own? Ah, there's my five-star steak achievement. Uh, view by foods. What's this one? Sp speciality. This. Oh, it's a kebab. A kebab, sorry. A shish kebab. They're quite interesting. I wonder what they're like. I'm going to just very quickly try the kebab. Because um, this must be quite interesting. Because you have to make it, right, on the skewer. Right. Don't place the same ingredients next to each other. Tomatoes, meat. Oh, chicken, meat. Chicken meat, chicken green pepper. Wow, that is tough. That is tough. Interesting. So you have to see what the ingredients are and not put them together. Wow, okay. So tomato, uh, meat, chicken, meat, chicken, meat, chicken, green peppers. That's a very lazy kebab though, isn't it? You should, maybe, I'd quite like to have the green pepper in the middle myself, but I'm not going to because uh, this is easier. Alright, is it just that? Is there nothing else to it? A pepper kebab. Alright, so tomatoes and meat and green pepper, red pepper, green pepper, red pepper, green pepper, red pepper. <laughs> wow, very interesting. What an interesting dish. We might get that next time because that looks very fun to play. Cool. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I have been Nalzi. You have been fantastic. I'll catch you next time for more of the same. Again, if you have any ideas for games that I should play, then do leave your thoughts. Let's put the five-star steak as the special uh, and the salad. Actually, wait a minute. I'm going to put this salad as the special. No, that was the special yesterday, wasn't it? Crap. No, burgers can be the special. Salad can be there. Soup, you can go away. Salad there. Wait, soup. 91% buzz. Lobsters. Lobsters special. That's what I'm going to have. There you go. 96% buzz. So come back next time where we're going to do a day with a 96% buzz ratio. All right. Catch you all later. See you next time. Bye. This is my outro song so that the vid doesn't end too hoo suddenly. Be sure to click like and fave and drop a comment if you think that you want to. Oh, oh, and there's tons of other stuff for you to click in the in the background for you. So go out, go ahead and do that. Thanks for watching the vid, you hoo 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 hoo
Well, that is all for now. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you all later. Oh, God. Bye. Seriously, why are you still watching this? Go and subscribe and drop a comment below. God damn you, stop watching video. Click fave, drop a comment, I think you want to, but if you don't, well that's your opinion, I guess.